My name is Bailey Reed, and I'm the Sexual Assault Services Coordinator at Carleton University. Hi, my name is Jerry LaRose, a retired professional football player, played nine years in the CFL. I was very fortunate to win a Great Cup in 2011 with the BC Lions. I met J.R. LaRose when I was doing a training with the Ottawa Red Blacks, and I really respected his role as a professional athlete and somebody who was working to end gender-based violence in his community. You know, we talk about um, gender-based violence and sexual violence. And I often get asked, you know, Jerry, why talk about a topic such as this? Well, for me, it's, it's something that really hits home. You know, I had, I had witnessed my mom and sister being, being abused by, by the men in their lives. So um, it's an, it was an absolute no-brainer for me to want to get involved in a program. And when Bailey approached me um, back in, in January about creating um, a groundbreaking um, initiative uh, here at Carleton University to work with the student athletes, it was an absolute no-brainer for me to be part of something like this. Because I think it's so important that we, we get the student, uh, the student athletes involved because they can, they can play a huge role in really creating change and a culture shift amongst their, uh, within their locker rooms. I wanted to do a really intensive, exciting, totally brand new program for varsity athletes um, to really end sexual violence on campus and it's about prevention. It's much more than just sort of addressing this problem on campus. It's about tying into a sexual violence prevention strategy and really giving the athletes the power to change the community. When you talk about athletes, student athletes, they're kind of, they're seen as a, the top of their food chain in their respected sport. So I really wanted to hear some of the challenges that they're faced with. I think it's important that we're able to hear um, some of their, their concerns and what they want to see um, brought forth. And so that's what we've been doing. We've been doing different brainstorming um, activities. And, and the program is called Champions for Change. It's really an opportunity for them to have conversations that are difficult, that they're not often given the chance to have, and then together co-create the kind of training program that they want to see.